Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God and today I have a message for you from the Lord that has six scriptures. All six scriptures are taken from the King James Version of the Bible. The first five I will recite for you now and the last one will be at the end of this prophetic word in a separate video. The first scripture is the book of Ezekiel chapter 30 verses 1 through 9 and it reads, The word of the Lord came again unto me saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord God, how ye woe worth the day for the day is near even the day of the lord is near a cloudy day it shall be the time of the heathen and the sword shall come upon egypt and great pain shall be in ethiopia when the slain shall fall in egypt and they shall take away her multitude and her foundation shall be broken down ethiopia and libya and lydia and all the mingled people and chub and the men of the land that is in league shall fall with them by the sword. Thus saith the Lord, they also that uphold Egypt shall fall, and the pride of her power shall come down. From the tower of Syene shall they fall in it by the sword, saith the Lord God, and they shall be desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate, and her cities shall be in the midst of the cities that are wasted, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I have set a fire in Egypt and when all her helpers shall be destroyed. In that day shall messengers go forth from me in ships to make the careless Ethiopians afraid and great pain shall come upon them as in the day of Egypt for lo it cometh. The second scripture is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verses 14 through 20, and it reads, Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say unto Gog, Thus saith the Lord God, In that day when my people of Israel dwelleth safely, shalt thou not know it? And thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts, thou and many people with thee, all of them riding upon horses, a great company and a mighty army. And thou shalt come up against my people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land. It shall be in the latter days, and I will bring thee against my land, that the heathen may know me when I shall be sanctified in thee, O Gog, before their eyes. Thus saith the Lord God, Art thou he of whom I have spoken in old time by my servants, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied in those days many years that I would bring thee against them? And it shall come to pass at the same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel, saith the Lord God, that my fury shall come up in my face. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel, so that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heaven and the beast of the field and all creeping things that creep upon the earth and all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence and the mountains shall be thrown down and the steep places shall fall and every wall shall fall to the ground the third scripture is the book of habakkuk chapter 2 verses 3 through 10 and it reads for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his how long and to him that lighteth himself with thick clay shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them because thou hast 
spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that coveteth an evil covetousness to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people, and hast sinned against thy soul. The four scriptures, the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 24 through 30, and it reads, Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So, so the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. The fifth scripture is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verses 2 through 3, and it reads, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closet shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Now for the message received from the Lord God on September 26th, 2024. Kazakhstan and Kilimanjaro, for you soon there shall be much sorrow. It is a time of revelation. A day of reckoning is unfolding according to the transgressions of politicians, corrupt practices. Anything done in the darkness shall be revealed into the light of day now. You will no longer get your way now. My oppressed peoples will no longer live like this. The wickedness done at the expense of your citizenry will be unveiled. Justice is prevailing. My righteous right hand is slamming down the gavel upon these evil criminals who take advantage of the poor and underprivileged peoples of Kazakhstan and Kilimanjaro. It is judgment day for these evil perpetrators. My mercy shall no longer be extended to evil dictators. This shall be applied worldwide, not just in the African continent. Take it in. My message has been sent through my prophet. Wait for it, for it shall not tarry. My righteous judgment shall be followed by the merrymaking of my second coming and my millennial reign. But first, my restrainer shall be removed. They have been found approved in the courtrooms of my throne room in heaven. I am removing my people, my chosen elect. I am selecting you now for the ascension into new Jerusalem. Continue to abide in me on bended knee at my feet, for very soon I shall be gathering my wheat into the barn with everlasting love jesus your holy redeemer and blessed hope the lord of lords and king of kings tell me google where is kilimanjaro according to britannica where is kilimanjaro located
Kilimanjaro is a volcanic massif in northeastern Tanzania, near the Kenya border. Tell me, Google, where is Kazakhstan? According to Google Arts and Culture, Kazakhstan is a country in Central Asia with a land area of 2,724,900 square kilometers. It has borders with Russia in the north, China in the east, and Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan in the south. Tell me, Google, what is the role of Kazakhstan in the book of Ezekiel? For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. The book of Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7.